So, I'm the last one. Um, I think that all the stories that we heard today has to be ended somehow. And I think it would be a proper way to end, first of all, story with Joes. You know, we don't know actually how the Joes came from desert back to the city of Dubai. So, uh, that's why we need imagination to find the end of this story, you know. And um, the whole imagination here is the ground base for art, the field that we are in. So, uh, as we were hearing today, all the topics and all the brilliant speakers, we saw that sustainability can come in different ways. And also art and culture is usually, uh, and it was in a history, and it will be in the future, a uh, way to promote ideas, to solve problems, to, to remind people of uh, creativity thinking, to, to, to try to find the different solutions for these problems before they actually happen, not waiting for them and then in the end uh, taking chances and finding solutions. Plus it can bring, uh, it can solve a lot of different problems. Let's say if you move artists or art institutions to rural areas uh, around cities, they bring a new life into it. They bring a new creative story into it. Uh, then the businesses are started to be interested for these areas and you don't have problems with overpopulation in urban areas and so on. You can uh, start to uh, raise awareness of the problems with artworks, with uh, street art, with uh, creativity of the projects and so on, with uh, creative, uh, creative campaigns and so on. So we are AMI Corporation, which is uh, a corporation connecting business and art. And we are doing everything with our general partner, BDC City, in Slovenia, where we also started seven years ago. And now we are over 15 countries. In four countries, we have institutes. And in 15 countries, we, we, we do our projects and our events. So um, I will, first of all, uh, give you a quick overlook of the things that we are doing. We have eight separated entities on which the first one is Institute AMI, organizing different kinds of projects and events that are helping cities to fulfill uh, the, the empty stories or some surroundings or to, to make even more creative, uh, creative products for different companies and so on. We represent more than 300 artists and we have around 400 different companies that are in partnership with Institute AMI and are helping us to, to kind of uh, bring a word of, of art also to the market. And Institute is based, basically also helping the young potentials to come to the market and to show themselves. Because there, this is a big problem all around the world because they don't have opportunity to come and to present their ideas. Uh, and to, to, to uh, try their products or their, uh, their uh, works at, uh, at the market. Um, so Institute is based in Ljubljana. We have also Institute in Prague, in London and Hong Kong. And you will also see on your tables you have these flyers with the names of the artists with the exhibition back there. This. The second entity that we have is purely business entity and it's Botticelli Club in which we have around 40 different companies from totally different industries that are trying and helping us to connect art and culture to different industries. So the people usually say to us, you know, what's wrong with you? You're connecting uh, art with insurance company. You're connecting art with, uh, I don't know, an autonomous driving, whatever, you know, with uh, AR technology, with stuff like this. And we are trying to tell them that one with, without each other will not work anyway. Because you can have modern technology, you can have all sorts of solutions, but you have to use the other part of the brain also and try to be creative on this. And um, artists and art organizations can a lot of times help the big corporations and the uh, uh, city challenges and try to, uh, try to come up with ideas for, for better smart cities. And Botticelli Club is like advisory board of ours that is helping us to do this in different industries and then they get exclusive rights to work with us on their field and so on. So it's win-win situation on a business case. The third entity is Megagraph, which is LTD company, 
um, specialized for technical stuff, for printing, for graphic, for all the support that we need for our projects. So it is on one side supporting uh, artists and on the other side giving a businesses the final product that they need. If, our, if we are talking about the campaigns, if we are talking about the uh, improvement of their products and so on. The fourth entity is Ami Times, which is readily new. It is from this year. It's the first, this year we, uh, one month and a half ago, released the first newspaper, which is um, putting out uh, different uh, problematics that are happening in, in, in uh, cultural field. Plus, it's showing the useful uh, ways and uh, good cases of good stories for uh, changing the mindset in the companies. So you have a lot of companies in, don't get me wrong, because uh, uh, it's a lot of you here, but uh, let's say IT companies, let's say companies involved in data, uh, internet of things, uh, whatever, uh, their, their work is really, uh, how can I say, it's really uh, in one direction, to solve the problem as best as possible, to find the solutions and to have direct, you know, uh, orders, direct, uh, direct way, the line of work. And when you bring uh, people from creativity into their teams, the, the whole process becomes totally different. When you move these people out of their offices to one crazy other area, they start to look at the things differently. It's the same if you would do vice versa. So uh, basically, we're trying to promote these ideas with, with this newspaper, which will be the next year also in uh, English version for uh, Prague, uh, Ljubljana and Hong Kong. Then we have AMI Foundation, the fifth pillar, which is helping young uh, creative guys to come on the market uh, by uh, founding, by giving them uh, opportunities, by giving them spaces for free and so on. And uh, we are also building here an art collection, international art collection, which will then be for, for viewing at our museum. We have Salvador Club, uh, which is a club uh, connecting uh, cultural workers together and trying to, 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 to connect them in this way that they, they can help each other and they can see the good examples from each other. Plus they are uh, as our outsourcing pool. So when we get too much work, we can outsource it there. We know that they uh, have a quality solutions and so on. And then the last one is AMI platform on which we started. It's a platform in, uh, with the idea to fill in the empty places because you have uh, facilitators all around the world, uh, real estate developers all around the world that have empty places in the meantime where they are searching for new rentals or new buyers of this place. And this time can be three days, three months or three years or whatever, you never, you never know. And what do we do? We try to um, um, uh, increase the, the bad marketing for them. Because when you go to a shopping center, you see, you see empty stores. When you go to a uh, business, uh, business center and you see empty offices, something is wrong here, something is not okay. So you will not uh, rent, you will not rent office there or something. If there will be life and movement and activities and so on, like we do with uh, artists and with uh, cultural events, uh, then you get a higher rate of, 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 of uh, uh, visitors, you get a, a bigger attraction, your company seems like a, a responsible, socially responsible company and you don't have any costs in the end. Plus, usually, we bring also potential clients to these uh, owners of these real estates or, or these facilitators. That's why it's a win-win situation. And the first facilitator that, that uh, uh, saw uh, uh, interesting story in us was BTC City, which is um, uh, one of the biggest uh, shopping centers in, in Europe. And uh, with more than 21 million visitors per year, it has really a lot of, um, a lot of different things to, to, to show, from entertainment to business to more than 500 shops and so on. And um, that's why I would like now to uh, uh, show you First of all, uh, this uh, QR code, you can take a photo. It's a six minute uh, long uh, video about uh, BTC and it's a video about how they became the first Bitcoin city also in the world. 
and how they're uh, connecting art with modern technology, uh, shopping experience with entertainment and so on. Uh, because Joe's will kill me if I will put a six minute video here. So I have a shorter video. And this video that I will uh, show you uh, now it's about, uh, it's, um, it's about a connection between BTC and AMI and the whole story, how the facilitator and art organization can work and, and, and create a better, better area, uh, better sustainable area. Um, and uh, on a video, we will see Ms. Helena Petrin. BTC City is one of the largest uh, business uh, shopping, entertainment and cultural center in Europe. We have multiplex cinema with 700,000 visitors and our own theater with 35,000 visitors per year. And beside this we have an excellent uh, art collection. In 2015, when Michal Muren came to BTC, uh, we uh, literally uh, fulfilled our uh, wish uh, about uh, culture being more easily accessible uh, to the people. Uh, since then we were working uh, together and we have helped more than 3,000 uh, artists all over the world. In BTC City each year uh, more than 21 million people now have opportunity to admire art which would not be possible without army dedicated team. So this was a video. Thank you again for your attention. Uh, please come to us. Uh, we'll give you some crazy ideas and try to find better solutions for your solutions. Um, and enjoy the rest of the afternoon or evening. Thank you again.